Arlington calls this River Street, but Medford insists that it's Harvard Ave. They can't even agree on the right-of-way nomenclature type. But nonetheless, this is where you cross and the ever-present opportunity to get an overview. The swallow down there. And the greenway goes that way. Just taking a look downriver towards Medford Square. This is now our general look upriver towards Winchester and West Medford. That would be Arlington's River Street. And this is going under the rubric of Medford's Harvard Street. Duggar Park, that's what we're looking for. Duggar evidently distinguished himself in World War I. Medford is just loaded with these plaques. I'm surprised no one's stolen them for the uh, brass. Yeah, he was in the Mews Argonne. Must have been fun. And here's sort of a round the corner look at the whole thing. The Greenway now heads this way and yes you can smell diesel fumes way to go clumsy truck driver so it'll probably take the rest of the summer for the volatile hydrocarbons to properly dissipate till then take note that when you pass through one side of Duggar Park you're going to be getting a whiff of diesel let's see if we can get a glimpse of the extent of the damage. <laughs> yeah, they've got all kinds of barrier stuff set up around the bridgehead. But it's volatilizing into the air. This was easily three weeks ago. And so I had been avoiding covering this section just to give it a chance to blow the stink out of itself. Oh, there's a statey. Looks like he lives there or something. He's going home for lunch. So this is your basic, I think I remember this section as a kid. One of my mother's best friends had a huge and complex family and the children were, the older ones were my age and they were my friends. And we come down to places like this probably the early 60s. That's how long it's been since I've really walked around here. So yeah, it's got some promise. Simple single track trail of dirt well compacted by decades of bicycle tires, people, Tennis courts. Pleasant bits of shade. Oh, and look, there's the resumption of a bit of old decrepit chain link fence and evidence of someone dumping lawn clippings. Kind of a long haul to be dumping your lawn clippings. Maybe it's the city. Oh, 
Mockingbird. Wow, they had to put containment barriers for this petrochemical spill for quite a ways along the little mystic. Oh, dude. <laughs> Jeez. And the chain link fence ends. Colorful playground stuff beyond the fence walls for the tennis courts. Kids have really colorful playground stuff now. Oh, there's a little spot to be able to get a sense of things. Don't imagine you'd want to fish down here. Yeah, the water's quite clear. Don't see any immediate evidence of oil slicks floating on it. That's certainly encouraging. Pooch. Nice little town parks. Clear and present. Oh, there's even a bit of water to jump around. And what have we here? Ooh, place to put your kayak in? Probably. And you can still smell diesel fumes. Wow. So they had to keep that barrier stuff continuing up there. It's a data sign. It's meaning long since faded away. So all we have is a bit of graffiti. Greenway follows this. We're probably not far from High Street. Wonder what kind of boat it is. Probably needed to put all that retainer stuff in. <sighs> so from the boat zone, it's forward we go. We're sort of upwind of the downwind whatever of the stink of the diesel residue and it narrows I imagine we're out of this little park now and I bet you that's high street up ahead looks like there's lots of places to put Boats and canoes in.
hardened. And narrowing, and then I think this is actually where I used to end up flailing around with my mother's friend's kid. Looks pretty familiar.